Tension, emotion, and drama of Crosstown basketball. There, there was a sensation courtside. What? These guys didn't wear the colors of the bison or the rustlers, but rather the suits, ties, and headsets of sportscasters. I was on Twitter one day and I saw them do the ESPN stand, some kids in another state, and I said, you know, we could probably do that a lot better and a lot classier, so. They're a group of CMR students who call themselves ESPN Great Falls. Their headsets don't work, and neither do the microphones, but their love for sports is strong. You know, I'm uh, really trying my hand at all fields right now. I uh, Maybe a farmer, possibly a stockbroker or a cobbler, um, but broadcasting is definitely top five. Well, even if it is just a hobby, these guys are fairly good at it. In one night, they amassed over 300 Twitter followers, providing thought-provoking analysis and insight and drawing praise from both sides of the rivalry. <laughs> they, were, they were pretty funny, but maybe we'll have a comeback. We'll see. <laughs> they're pretty funny guys, and they know what they're talking about, so it was good. But the question remained, do they have the talent to back up their obvious swagger? To find out, we invited them to the KRTV studios. Before we let them try their hand at anchoring, we sought out a word of advice from former KRTV sports anchor Brian Crosby. I would, I would advise to you, do not put them on live. That would be my <laughs> advice to you. Anything you do with those guys, either delay or live to tape, because I, I don't know what they would say. Thank you, sir. May I have another? The baby is due, and Dr. Jensen delivers. Skipping the appetizers, let's go straight to dinner. Whammy! Well, they certainly have their catchphrases down, but now it's time to call some highlights. Time now for complete local sports coverage from MTN Sports. That's right, folks. Welcome back here. We are here and ready for the Crosstown matchup. And we're ready to go. Brennan Howard, big Brennan Howard. It's a physical game down low. We got blood, sweat. Lane Jensen here from ESPN Great Falls, ready to bring you some hot and juicy highlights from this year's Cat Grizz game. Johnson rolling out with the throw. Juke, shimmy, shimmy, touchdown. Is it Halloween or Christmas? I don't know. We got some crosstown football. Roll the tape. Andrew Grindy looking to respond. Wow. What an animal he is. Truly a horse. If you like dogs and football, you came to the right place. Bow wow, folks. Puppy bowl up tonight. Would you look at that? Backs are just pulling around on the rope. No rhyme or reason to what he's doing. You can't coach that, folks. Look at those teeth. Turns out her name's Marta. Didn't know that. Pink pants. Wow, would you look at that? Ricky Fowler made an appearance. Oh, what a wow. big old driver that is. I may be wrong, but I believe that was an eagle. Not too shabby, but of course no anchor team is complete without a signature sign-off. We're the ESPN Great Falls crew. Thank you for watching, you beautiful beasts. Stay classy, Electric City. <laughs> and God bless America. God bless those guys. If you want to catch the ESPN Great Falls crew, they will be courtside tonight at Swarthow Fieldhouse.